Classifying subatomic particles according to their spin, the particles are of two types. Particle of integer spin known as boson and particles of half integer spin known as fermions. But not all the fermions are the same. Some fermions do not interact with strong nuclear force. These are called lepton. While some fermions interact with strong nuclear force, they are called baryon. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about leptons. In this lecture, we will discuss about baryons. According to the classification of subatomic particles, we know that the fermions that interact with strong nuclear force are called baryon. Due to the considerable variation in the mass of baryons, they have been divided in two parts. Light mass baryons are called nucleon and heavy mass baryons are called hyperon. Proton and neutron are nucleons while lambda, sigma, cascade, omega and delta baryons are hyperons. Only omega minus and delta baryon have spin 3 by 2 while rest of the other baryons are fermions of spin 1 by 2. Here one thing to be note is that these all are baryon particles. Sigma minus is not the antiparticle of sigma plus, rather these all are the particles and their antiparticle are represented by the bar placing over them. For all baryons, a special quantum number has been defined which is called baryon number. For all baryon particles, baryon number is plus 1, while for all antibaryon particles, baryon number is minus 1. Particles which are not baryon have their baryon number 0. Baryon number follows algebraic addition law. According to baryon number conservation, baryon number should be conserved in any nuclear reaction. If parent particles decays into daughter particles, then the total baryon number of parent particles should be equal to the total baryon number of the daughter particles. The lambda is decaying into kion and pion. In this decay reaction, lambda is a baryon particle having baryon number plus 1, while kion and pion are non-baryonic particles having baryon number 0. Since the baryon number is not conserved in this reaction, this decay reaction is not allowed according to baryon number conservation. The neutron is decaying into proton and antiproton. In this decay reaction, proton and neutron are baryon particles having baryon number plus 1 while antiproton is an antibaryon particle having baryon number minus 1. Now since the baryon number is not conserved in this reaction, this reaction is not allowed according to baryon number conservation. This is a beta plus decay in which proton decays to neutron, positron and electron neutrino. Since proton and neutron are baryon particles, their baryon number is plus 1, while electron and electron neutrino are non-baryonic particles, so their baryon number will be 0. Since the baryon number is conserved in this reaction, this reaction is allowed according to baryon number conservation.